An ideal gas has a pressure of 400 kilopascals and a volume of 0.1 cubic meter. Find the total translational kinetic energy of the ideal gas. The total translational kinetic energy is the average translational kinetic energy times the number of molecules because this is the average of each molecule. If you multiply by the total number of molecules, we get the total translational kinetic energy. And if you remember from the kinetic theory, the average translational kinetic energy per molecule is 3 halves kT. So if you multiply by n, see here, here this part you have nKT, which is nRT, which equals to PV. So this is 3 halves PV because we have pressure and the volume. So this will give us the total translational kinetic energy. And if we want the total translational kinetic energy to be in the standard unit joules, we need everything to be in standard unit. So this will be 3 halves. The pressure is 400 kilopascals. So this is 400,000 pascals times the volume, which is 0.1 cubic meter. That's already the standard unit. So this will give us 6 times 10 to the fourth joules. And that's the total translational kinetic energy. If this ideal gas is monatomic and it goes through this process, what is the work done on the gas? What is the change in internal energy of the gas? How much heat is added to or removed from the gas? Does the gas's temperature go up or down? Let's see. The work done on the gas would be the area of the graph. And because the volume increases, the work done on the gas is negative. So this is the negative area under the graph, which is the shape like this. So it includes a triangle on the top and the rectangle on the bottom. Okay, so it's the negative for the triangle part. The area is one half height, 100 to 400. So it's uh, the height is 300 and it's a kilo, so it's 300,000 times the base of the triangle from 0.1 to 0.3. So the base is 0.2 plus the area of the rectangle. The rectangle is right here. The height of the rectangle is 100 kilo times the base, which is 0.2. So this gives us the work is negative 5 times 10 to the fourth joules. That's the work done on the gas. And then we want the delta U. Certainly delta U is Q plus W, the work done on the gas. But we don't have Q, so we'll actually need to find delta U using a different method, and then we can find the Q using the delta U and the W. What is another method we can use to find the delta U? Notice that this problem tells us this gas is a monatomic ideal gas. That means uh, change in internal energy, which is only the change in kinetic energy. For a monatomic ideal gas, the kinetic energy is only translational kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy would be the change in 3 halves PV. So this is the change in 3 halves PV, only because it is a monatomic ideal gas. It doesn't have any other types of uh, kinetic energy. So this will be 3 halves PV final minus the 3 halves PV initial. And we can factor out the 3 halves. Pressure, the final state is here. The final pressure is 100,000. The final volume is 0.3. The initial pressure is 400,000. The initial volume is 0.1. So this will give us uh, negative 1.5 times 10 to the fourth joules. Now we can use uh, this equation here, the first law, to find the Q, which is uh, 
delta U minus W on the gas. The delta U is negative 1.5 times 10 to the fourth. The work done on the gas is a negative 5 times 10 to the fourth. So this gives us 3.5 times 10 to the fourth joules. So this is the heat added to the gas because the Q is positive. This is heat added to the gas. If the Q is negative, that will be the heat removed from the gas. And then we to find out about the temperature. Let's see. We know that the delta U is a, a negative number. That means uh, the temperature decreases because the internal energy decreases. Another way to tell what happens to the temperature is to compare the P times V. If we look at the initial P times V, that would be 400 kilo times 0.1. The final P times V is 100 kilo times 0.3. So initial is four times something. The final is three times something. The P times V decreases. That means uh, the temperature decreases because P times V is proportional to the temperature. As for the Q, one common mistake people would make is that they look at the Q and they say there is a heat added to the gas so the temperature is going to go up. But that is not the case because you can add heat to the gas. But the thing is if something is removing energy from the gas, let's in this case the work done on the gas is negative. That means this much energy is removed from the gas. So the net gain of the energy of the gas, the delta U, which is Q plus W, is negative. So overall, the gas has lost energy. That's why the temperature goes down. So do not look at the Q. Do not just look at the W either. You have to look at the combination of the two, which means you have to combine the two to look at delta U. If the internal energy increases, the temperature goes up. If the internal energy decreases, the temperature goes down. When you have heat added to the gas, it does not guarantee the temperature to go up.